And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day. It's Tuesday, the 19th of September. Mike Smith's in Alice Gold Markets to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, US markets might take out very small gains in the three major indices. Russell 2000 was in the red as markets look really cautious uh, as the Fed begin their two day meeting, which will culminate, of course, in their interest rate decision, which is expected to pause. So it is. The statement that goes along with that and the subsequent press conference from Jerome Powell, which is likely to have more market moving potential than the rate decision itself. US futures are trading near neutral in the early Asian session. Asian markets were mixed early on. The Hang Seng was the only index now that's holding on to early gains. ASX was 0.5% down, a little changed after the RBA minutes were released earlier today. European futures pointing to a cautious but positive open, but only slightly so. Uh, the VIX was slightly to the upside overnight, but is still near that support around pre-pandemic lows. One would expect that prior to big data coming out. The US dollar index pulled back from resistance. It's near neutral again so far today. Uh, gold is neutral today, but continued its bounce yesterday off the 200 EMA. Copper is pulling back again in Asia, we see remains range bound really and oil just continues to edge higher another move up yesterday up again in asia today i 100 dollars a barrel bitcoin we had a very volatile session it hit highs overnight but then fell down even though it's over that level of 26500 that we talked about previously it does look as though it could get a little stuck under the 200 ema so that looks important and the FOMC meeting starts today, as we said, Eurozone Canadian CPI up today, US housing data later, uh, as well as that Eurozone CPI, we've got CPI numbers coming out of the UK, then we've got US, UK and PBOC rate decision over the next three days, and then global PMI on Friday. So a lot for the market to digest over the coming days. This may dictate what happens for the rest of the month and possibly even spill over into October in terms of sentiment. Couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we keep on talking about it. It keeps on moving higher. WGX in the gold space. Uh, we've just got a little block here, just around about this 181 level. You can see it was the close yesterday and the close from a couple of days before it was the high, the day in between that. So holding this level of 185 to potentially set us up for a move in the medium term to $2 looks as though it might have some potential and worth keeping an eye on in the fx world we are keeping an eye on the aussie canadian dollar now uh, you can see here that we are moving back down to a, a support level that was put in place around about mid-august at 86.60 you can see also here it was a price action of interest this move ended up down to around about 86 so theoretically medium term there is a potential 60 pip move to the downside However, if we look at today, I think that might be slightly tempered. I'd wait until we get a move through that 86.62. And I think possibly, uh, based on the fact that these pivot levels are here, uh, you maybe look for a test of that 86.40. So possibly a 20 pip move or so uh, to be had in the Aussie Canadian dollar. It is such a correlated pair that that 20 pips is quite significant in terms of its ATR, it's over 2 ATR in terms of a move. So not one to be written off. And of course, because of that low volatility, you can put the stop relatively close compared to that which you might do on other pairs. So certainly one to consider. Uh, you need to be a little patient with this. It hasn't breached yet, but has the potential to do so. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.